Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Cortland Playbook. I'm Robert Gom. And I'm Michelle McAlina. And we're here with your SUNY Cortland Sports Update. The Cortland football team defeated Ithaca in the 57th annual Cortica Jug game on Saturday, 11-8. The win not only brought the Jugs back home to Cortland, but secured the Empire 8 crown for the Red Dragons, who finished the regular season with a record of 8-2. Cortland has now won six straight Cortica Jug games. Cortland jumped out to an 11-0 lead on a Shane Cronin 29-yard field goal, a touchdown pass from Stephen Ferrara to Jake Smith, and his safety after an Ithaca snap sailed out of the back of their own end zone. Ithaca finally got on the board inside five minutes to play, capitalizing on a long 77-yard drive with a touchdown and a successful two-point conversion. Carson Lasseter led Cortland with 13 tackles and was named both the SUNYAC Cortland Male Athlete of the Week and the Empire 8 Defensive Player of the Week. Punter Matt Green was named the Empire 8 Special Teams Player of the Week as he averaged 37.6 yards per punt on seven punts, including two which he pinned Ithaca inside their own 10-yard line. With the win and the clinching of the Empire 8 Championship, Cortland will host a home NCAA playoff game this Saturday versus Salisbury in Stadium Red at noon. Cortland's women's hockey team lost 1-5 in ECAC West game against Elmira College last Friday. C-State's only goal went unassisted and scored by junior Sidney Carlucci. Cortland senior goalie Deanna Muner had a total of 24 saves in goal by the end of the game. The Red Dragons versed Elmira again last Saturday, this time at home. Elmira shut out the game winning 0-4. Senior Deanna Muner registered 33 saves for the Red Dragons. Cortland will pick up their season again on Saturday, December 5th at home, 2 p.m. against Utica. The Cortland men's basketball team won in their first game of the 2015-2016 season over Utica 87-85. Blair Starfa led Cortland with 23 points, followed by Justin Cooper, who contributed 11, and Zach Lydon and TJ Hefley, who added 10 points each. The team will play Cobleskill in Ithaca as a part of the Cortica Classic this Friday, and then will play host to Bridgewater State on Saturday. Here's a look at some upcoming women's sporting events here at Cortland as we transition into the winter season. Women's basketball will be playing their two preseason games on November 20th and 21st in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The Red Dragons return home to prepare for their regular season to begin on Tuesday, November 24th, 5 p.m. at home against William Smith College. Women's swimming and diving have an upcoming meet against Buffalo State this Saturday. The meet will be held at Buff State at 1 p.m. Women's cross country will compete in Winnicon, Wisconsin in an NCAA Division III championship. This will take place on November 21st at 11 a.m. Central Time. The Cortland men's ice hockey team dropped a pair of home games this weekend. On Friday, the Red Dragons fell to SUNYAC Conference leader Potsdam 2-4. Cortland goals came from Spencer Gourlay and Mike Davey. Three third-period goals for the Bears of Potsdam allowed them to pull away with the victory. Then on Saturday, the Red Dragons fell 1-5 to Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh broke a 1-1 tie with four unanswered goals to come away with a victory. The lone goal for Cortland came from Mike Davey, his second goal of the weekend. Cortland will look to shake off those two losses with a doubleheader versus out-of-conference opponent Canton on both Friday and Saturday nights in Cortland. That's all for this week's edition of the Cortland Playbook. I'm Robert Gong. And I'm Michelle McAlina. And we'll see you next week.